Translators note, the people mentioned after the sentence is the one talking. Chapter 6, The Court Mages Doubt It has been two days since Hero Reiji accepted the task to subdue the Demon Lord. Imperial Mage Felminia Stingray will be teaching Reiji and Mizuki by order of the king. And now, she's going to Reiji. It can't be. Hero's teacher, Felminia. She's grumbling while walking, but inside her heart there is joy. After all, out of all the senior mages, she was chosen to teach the hero who will save the world. To think that she will be teaching the hero, she can only chuckle. This means that she is trusted more than the other court mages, and that the king has high expectations of her. Foo foo foo. Felminia. She can't hold her laughter. She's glad there's no one around. She always has a serious persona, if the others see her laughing, it would be very embarrassing. Setting that aside, on the subject of teaching, it seems that in the world hero Reiji came from, there's no magic. That's why we're teaching him magic now. She can still remember when they were summoned, and when they saw magic for the first time. She clearly remembers their sparkling eyes. When she asked about Hero Reiji's world, it seems in exchange for magic, they have a science called technology that everybody can use. It helped the civilization evolve. It was interesting. If they have time, Felminia would like to hear more. And then. Is that Swayme? Felminia. In the corridor, standing there, is Swayme. Advertisement. Swayme Yakagi. An average person. Black hair, gentle eyes. Nothing more than that. He shows great wisdom when he's together with Reiji. That guy is walking ahead of her, but turns at the corner towards a different destination. While seeing this, she thinks. The place he's going is the north side of Camellia. There's no kitchen nor toilet nor Reiji there. Why the hell is he going that way? Wait! I heard that Swayme was always holed up in his room after that dispute in the audience chamber. Felminia. She doesn't know much about his circumstances since she hasn't talked with him much. She heard that he only leaves to go to the toilet or to meet with Reiji and his friend. She thought that, because he was summoned here suddenly, he was scared and holed up like a little boy. If so, what is he, Felminia? The North Building is a place that people rarely go. Seeing this, Felminia becomes interested. Then, she realizes something. There's still time until the meeting. Then, I guess I will take a look for a bit. Felminia. And so, Felminia decides to follow him. It's not only because she's interested, it's also because she has the responsibility to stop him from doing anything bad. Not only that, that boy Swayme is keeping secrets to himself. That's why she has to watch his movements. That's right, when we greeted them, Swayme Donna was certainly Felminia. That time, he tried to use magic. Out of those three, he's the only one who could use magic. No one noticed this but her. But, the magic was cancelled right away, and he pretended nothing happened. But, there's no mistake, it was magic. Hero Reiji said that there was no magic in his world. In exchange, technology spread all over the place and helped civilization. Buildings were lined up neatly, and they could travel to the moon. There were no lies in his eyes, nor was there any need to lie. That's why, why can Sway may use magic? And now, the pursuit begins. Of course, Swayme didn't notice. He just kept walking towards his place of interest. Advertisements. Report this AD. Then, when she turned at the corner. Tsu. Kaya. Maid. There were screams. It seems it was the maid. That scream must have been from her. I'm sorry, is anything hurt? Felminia. I should be the one to apologize. I hope I didn't hurt Stingray-sama's beautiful face. Maid. 
Eh? There's nothing on my face. Felmenia. Then, in any other place? Maid. No. There's not even any dust left. Felmenia. Having seen the maid's exaggerated attitude, she smiled. The maid put on a relieved face. Is that so? That's great. Maid. Then, excuse me. Felmenia. Why yes. Maid. Fumo. Felmenia. It wasn't the wisdom that comes with age, but what she learned, to have dignity as a court mage. Having seen her blunder, the maid bowed. I, I am really sorry. Maid. Haha, <laughs> it's all right. Felmenia. The maid bowed again, and then, when Felmenia wanted to leave. Felmenia realized suddenly. Excuse me, can I have a moment? Felmenia. Yes. Es sure. Maid. Advertisements. Report this A.D. Before we hit each other, there was supposed to be another person that went through here, did you see him? Felmenia. Eh? There was no one but Stingray Sama. Maid. What? Felmenia. Unlike the normal Felmenia, having heard the maid's answer, she muttered. Is there anything wrong? Maid. I will ask again, is there really no one else that passed through here? Felmenia. Why yes. Maid. You are not lying? Felmenia. Yes. I swear to God Elshina. It's exactly as I told Stingray Sama, maid. Felmenia threatened her, and the maid avowed, though Felmenia wouldn't use any physical force. And then, Felmenia interrupted. There's no way you didn't meet anyone. Before we crashed, Sueme Dano. I mean, Hiro Reiji's friend came through here. Felmenia. Hiro's friend? But, I didn't meet anyone. Maid. Seeing the bewildered maid, Felmenia thought. What does this mean, Felmenia? Hmm, Stingray Sama, I must go to the South Tower, maid. Ah, it's okay, you can go. Sorry for saying something strange. Felmenia. It's all right, then, I'll go. Maid. The maid bowed and left. Felmenia. Felmenia was confused. She didn't know what happened, but he disappeared right after turning. It's a mystery. Hmm, there's still time, let's look inside. Felmenia. Advertisements. Report this A.D. While walking, she didn't meet anyone. When she arrived at the North Tower, she was surprised. Wah, Felmenia. She found the door opened. There wasn't supposed to be anyone coming here. Not only that, this door was sealed. It requires special magic to open it and yet... The only ones who know the spell are the king, the head mage, and me. There's no trail of the king or head mage having been here, then why has it opened? Felmenia erased her presence and went to the door. Due to this series of events, she couldn't help but be very nervous. Felmenia stood and peeked inside. She could only see a figure standing there, carrying both a notebook about summoning, which is rarely seen in Estelle, and something cylindrical. As expected, Felmenia. She didn't know how the hell he opened the door, but by the fact that he is here, it's evident that he's a mage. But. Goo, what should I do? Can I just go in right now? Felmenia. This is a restricted place, normally she would show up right away, but this is the hero's friend, and furthermore, a mage. Of course, she is confident that she could subdue him, but this is the hero's friend. It would become a big commotion. What if the demon lord's subjugation is cancelled because of this? She couldn't decide. But, I wonder, what is he doing? I guess he's researching about the summoning, but, Felmenia. 
but, as they are both mages, she wondered why he was wandering around, normally to analyze a magic circle, a mage would need to stand there and analyze the circle only. She couldn't see him as anything but a normal person who doesn't know magic and isn't sure what to do. But, the summoning circle itself is something that we don't understand ourselves, we can only use it. No one has been able to understand it. Advertisements Report this AD. In the end, Felminia couldn't even let her voice out, or move. And after watching Suame's weird behavior, she decided to go to the meeting instead. About Hero Reiji's friend? King! Felminia is now standing in front of the king in the audience chamber. The reason is, of course, Suame. After that day, she tried to watch him. And now, she intends to ask the king. The king is confused and the kneeling Felminia nods. Yes. That's right. Felminia. Is it Mizuki Anu? King. No, it's the other one, Swayme. Felminia. The king squints his eyes. From what I know, that one is holed up in his room and never comes out. King. No. He has actually left the room numerous times. Felminia. This is the result of Felminia's searching. She found out that Swayme has gone out countless times. And, of course, no one knew. Contrary to his deception, he's actually pretty active. Hearing that, the king raises his voice. I haven't heard that from anyone. King. It's because the seclusion is glorified. He's moving in secret. Felminia. No one has seen him? King. I suspect I'm the only one who knows. Felminia. That's right, there's no one but her. When she asked others, they insisted that he's never left. Then, why are you the only one who knows? King. I only met him walking by pure chance. It seems he's using magic when no one is around. Felminia. Magic? Is it something you taught him? King. Advertisements. Report this AD. No. It's something he knew beforehand. Felminia. The king is making a face of disbelief. But, I heard there's no magic there. Magic is just something from fantasy in Hero Reiji's world. King. I also suspect that. But it's true that Suame Dano used magic. Felminia. Then, Hero Reiji lied? King. No, I don't think so. Felminia. Nope. It's not a lie. It is true that Hero Reiji has a very high aptitude for magic, but he didn't know it before. And the king trusts him too. I believe so, but, king. Why is there a discrepancy in their story, right? Felminia. That boy personally concealed his magic, and in the first place, the hero didn't know of magic before. King. As expected, the king also tilts his head. Magic is a technology. Magic is inseparable from life. Magic allows people to evolve. Even if it's unknown there, it's supposed to be no different than a technology in terms of usefulness. Your Highness, there might be a complex situation in the other world, but right now dash, Felminia. The thing is, why is he doing so much to conceal his activities and magic? King. Yes. Felminia. Their movement is unrestricted, and since he just came to this world, there should be nothing to hide. Then, why? There's no reason to, King. That's right, he is the hero's friend. The king even ordered the castle to be friendly with them and cooperate. But. The problem is, where Suame Dano goes, Felminia. Where is it? King. Advertisements. Report this AD. Archive room. He has brought back several books from there. 
Felminia. Ho! I thought he only holed up in his room, to think that he goes there, since he can't return, he's probably trying to search for information. King. When the king hears archive room, he is surprised, but then he just nods. He thinks that Swayme doesn't want to lose to the absurdity of the summons and wants to study. The king admires him a bit. That's true, but there's more. No. There's also evidence of him going to the forbidden room. Felminia. W-H what? But, it's not easy to go in there, king. It's where the historically important data is stored. Therefore, it's forbidden and out of people's reach. Furthermore, with ease, Felminia. What dash, then he only goes out and comes back from there? King. Felminia takes a breath and continues. Even to the summoning room. Felminia. That's impossible. The only ones who can enter it are me, the head mage, and you. King. Yes. But, somehow, Swayme can open it. Felminia. The atmosphere is heavy. The door is layered with multiple earth magics. Only people who have a great understanding of the earth attribute can open it. That shows the extent of Suame's magic. What is he doing there? Is a stupid question to ask, huh? Is he researching the summoning? King. I don't know, but I think that's right. Felminia. He wants to return that much, huh, king? The king has a depressed expression, he feels guilty for calling them without their consent. A kind king. It seems, the king opposed the idea of calling the hero. He didn't want to involve those other people that have nothing to do with this. He wanted them to succeed with their own power, but they will face many situations like this, and the world will eventually be destroyed. However, he eventually feared the demon lord, and had no choice but to agree. The king tasted despair. And, then the king said heavily. Then, Felminia, why are you not doing anything about it? King. Yes. I approached him by my own judgment, and if he causes an uproar. Felminia. I see. It's true that there might be a commotion. King. Yes. And the information is still not enough. Felminia. That's right, this information is still unreliable. It could be a misunderstanding. That's why she only spoke to the king. That's true. You will take action when something happens, right? King. Yes, of course. Felminia. That much is obvious. That's why she's observing this much. And then, have you spoken to anyone else about this? King. No, only to you, the king. Felminia. Good. Don't speak of this to anyone until this is resolved. King. Yes. Felminia. The king wishes for no one to know about this, though Felminia does not know why, she will obey. And then, Felminia asks about the plan. Your Highness, what should I do from now on? Felminia. She asks this because she doesn't know what to do with Swayme. But, she must do something, even if he is the hero's friend. The king tilts his head. Moo? Isn't it fine to leave him? He doesn't want to be bothered. That's why he's doing it secretly. As long as he doesn't intend to do anything bad. King. But, it's a forbidden place, Felminia. Since he already went there, it can't be helped. There are only important books and maps, not that he can do anything with them. King. It's true that it's useless since he's from a different world, but she still feels that the judgment is too soft. No. Is that the reason your highness didn't want anyone to know? Felminia. If the people know, it will become an uproar, but if they don't know, it's all right. That's why the king told her not to tell anyone. 
the king's decision is correct. Though she still feels bitter about the idea. Then, your highness won't take any measures against him? Felmenia. Do you oppose? King. Swayme is a mage. There has to be some kind of action taken. I know that it's best not to involve the hero's party, but if he is let free, it will affect the king's image, Felmenia. Personally, I don't care. King. From the king's expression, it seems he wants to resolve this matter as soon as possible. But, for her to back down here, it would be unbefitting of the title of court mage. Your Highness, this is somewhat a measure, but I won't do anything to scare them. If something happens, I will personally tell Regidano. Felmenia. You have some confidence in persuasion. King. Even if it's short, I'm still his teacher. He won't ignore my words. Felmenia. Felmenia has some confidence, because she is the one who taught Regi magic. If she says that his friend is doing bad things, he would have to do something about it. From their talks, she knows that Reiji hates bad people. No problem. That's why, for now. That's why, I only need your highness approval, Felmenia. After thinking for a while, the king lets out a voice with a serious tone. No, king. Your highness. But. Felmenia. Felmenia, Sueme Dano is an important guest of mine too. I can't allow you to harbor any ill intentions towards him. King. I, I don't have any ill intentions. I only want to take appropriate measures against he who is freely doing as he pleases. Felmenia. Felmenia tries to persuade the king, but the king calmly points it out again. A no is a no. Got it, Felmenia? King. Felmenia. Got it? King. Understood. Felmenia. Felmenia clenches her fist and bows. It's been a while since things haven't gone her way. Since she became court mage, it's been a while. The opponent is also a mage, which is frustrating. Even though she was rejected, she only becomes angrier and promises to pay him back ten thousandfold. Not yet. Felmenia. Even if the king doesn't approve, she won't back down. This is the court, the king's territory. She can't do as she pleases here. Basically, it's fine as long as the king doesn't know. She will secretly punish Swayme if something happens. Yes, this can work. Swayme still hasn't noticed her, and if she does it secretly, no one will know. Even if the opponent is a mage from somewhere she doesn't know. She can't allow insolent acts in Camellia. It's unforgivable, and thus it should not be forgiven. From her position, this is her responsibility. The king's image, the safety of Camellia, it's her self-proclaimed duty to protect them. Even if no one else will ever know, she doesn't care. She will make that insolent boy know his place. Cyphelmenia is still young, huh, king? said the king, Almadius, after Felmenia left. He could see Felmenia's youth will instigate something. She won't give up. She will do something without others knowing. Well, it can't be helped. I'm sorry for the boy, but I guess I can just scold her later. Wisdom is a difficult thing, huh, king? Recently, Felmenia has been so prideful. It's unknown whether it's because of her strength or her duty. It's true that she's too strong. The king sighed again.